Hey beauties, welcome to my makeup room and uh, today we have a colorful look again. Uh, I love this. Uh, I don't know, I feel like uh, before I didn't try a lot of colorful makeups but now I'm just kind of like doing it and I really like it. So yeah, I hope you guys do also like this video. So make sure you guys thumbs up this video if you guys want more and uh, really cool tutorials. And also make sure you guys follow me around on social media so I'll leave down below all the links for you guys so you can go ahead and do that. And um, also subscribe to this YouTube channel so we have more content. and. Um, yeah, so if you guys want to recreate this look, then make sure to continue watching and have a great day. Bye bye! Um, okay girls, so we're gonna start off by applying this purple pinky shade right in the outer corner and we're going to blend that super well because we are not adding any transition shades so we want our shades to be super blended and so they look super smooth and everything. Okay, so now that we blended everything super well, I'm going to add this blue color and this is going to be my base for the next shade I'm going to be applying, which is kind of like a bluish green type of color and I blended that super well with the pink shade I applied earlier. Okay, so for this next shade, I went ahead and applied it with a super precise brush because I want it to get in the inner corner and I feel like with a blending brush, it's kind of hard to do it, but um, so I first did this step and then I continue with a blending brush. Now for the yellow shade which is my favorite out of all the colors in this um, eye tutorial. Um, I did this exact same thing. I applied it with the same precise brush and then afterwards I blended super well with the orange shade we applied earlier. And I think this gave the effect I was looking for. To finish with the eyes, I went ahead and cleaned uh, a little bit of the fallout I was uh, having and I also blended everything that was needed to be fixed and I applied my mascara and I kind of skipped this step uh, because you guys know the drill, it's super repetitive. <laughs> So now I went ahead and applied this foundation, it's super matte but I really like the effect. It's kind of not matching my skin tone right now, I don't know, I'm having a hard time trying to find a good foundation for my skin tone right now. So um, I went ahead and blended everything super well with this stippling blur, uh, brush and I think it did the job right. 
then afterwards I went ahead with the sponge and kind of like uh, overdid it a little bit because you never know sometimes you get um, streakiness from the brush so um, with a uh, sponge it's a lot more faster and uh, I'm setting my whole entire face with that translucent powder, powder like I usually do Now taking this powder, I went ahead and did my eyebrows like I normally do, set them and then um, continue to apply a gel type of, um, kind of like an eyebrow gel, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it but it's pretty much what it is and that sets the eyebrows in place the whole entire day and I feel like it gives them more of like a, like a precise look, I don't know, I really like it. Then I went ahead and applied my blush and for this look I did not contour, um, I kind of like just went ahead and applied my blush and a little bit of highlight because I feel like with contour it will look kind of like too much since this is a pretty much like a very dramatic look so yeah I wanted the eyes to be the center of the attention. Now to finish the whole entire look, I did my lips with this Urban Decay lip liner and did my lips and I did not apply lipstick because I felt I felt like it was okay with this lip liner so why not. And yeah, this is pretty much the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, thumbs up this video and have a great day. Bye bye.